Hello YouTube, it's me John Avenger once again and welcome to another sequel prequel month. This is brought to you by Wise Kettle uh, Corn Potato Chips. Pretty good. This next entry is a sequel from the year 2000. It's my favorite of the franchise. I think this is a cute franchise I grew up watching in the 90s. And the movies were pretty pretty good. At least the first two. The, the last movie is alright. And that's why it was, a, it was a trilogy. It didn't need a fourth movie. It didn't need a reboot. It was fine the way it is. But this is the Rugrats trilogy. But I'm only going to talk about the second one. Which is my absolute favorite. This The first one is a decent movie. It, it was a... It was a huge hit, a surprise hit. Critics actually liked it, and it was a decent adaptation of the show. But the second one is the one I want to talk about. The It's basically The Empire Strikes Back of this trilogy, my favorite. One of my favorite animated movies, hand-drawn animated movies from Nickelodeon ever. Rugrats in Paris. I love this movie. This is, movie is freaking awesome. I saw this movie on VHS a long time ago. I actually know... Um, uh, not on VHS. My sister saw it on VHS. I saw it on cable like 10 years ago or something, and I was blown away. I was like, wow. They took the first movie, and they made it even better with the sequel. One th problem I have with the sequel is that it's way too short. Right? The first movie was 81 minutes, and this movie 78 minutes. It's the shortest of all the Rugrats films. Yet, yeah, I get the most entertainment out of it. I love the storyline that... Chucky and his dad and the kids, you know, Tommy and, and, and Angelica and Susie and, and, uh, and uh, you know, and the twins, Phil and Lil, they go off to Paris and Chucky is looking to find a new mom. And uh, when they get to Paris, the shenanigans ensue, you know, they see sumo wrestlers and, and they bump into Kimmy, this uh, cute little Asian girl and her mother, who's, uh, you know, an Asian woman that's working for this, uh, uh, lady that's uh, I think she's like a designer or something like that in Paris and basically you know uh, she bumps into Chaz you know Chucky's father and they have a connection and you know things it's predictable I could say that because it's a kids movie but it has a lot of heart this second movie just blew me away like the the animation I think is some of, uh, some of the best I've seen from Nickelodeon it's hand drawn the voice cast is spot on I love the cast the voice cast um uh, Christine Cravenaugh, I know she just recently passed away. Rest in peace, girl. I miss you. You gave us years of entertainment. Dexter's Laboratory, Rugrats. Just, you know, um, I, Babe, I think the first Babe movie. She was wonderful as, you know, as Chucky. She made me laugh a lot. I miss her like crazy. I, I, I want to see this movie again because, you know, I love hearing her voice. Now, E.G. Daly as Tom A. And, uh, you know, a bunch of other cast members. I can't say the whole cast because... I don't really have the voice actors behind here, but it's a great sequel. I think it's one of the best animated sequels that there is, you know, that wasn't like Disney, Pixar, or DreamWorks, or um, Blue Sky. It's really well done. I feel like this movie, you know, kind of got forgotten. I don't know any of these films got forgotten because, uh, you know, when people talk about best animated sequels, they always say Toy Story 2 or Toy Story 3 or um, The Rescuers Down Under or... Uh, Madagascar 3 or something like that or Shrek 2 but I feel like this movie it it got the praise that it did because it deserved it it gets a 6.1 on IMDb I think it deserves higher because it's a great sequel it definitely tops the first film in every way the location the animation is beautiful the voice cast is a lot better it's a funnier movie it's not all about Dill like in the first movie and uh, you know the um the visuals and everything about it, the songs in it are are very heartwarming and sweet. Definitely a great movie for your kids. I cannot recommend this movie anymore. If I tried, it's a very great. It's a great sequel. The kids are cute. It has a great premise. Really good visuals. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, I got a seventy five percent. Awesome. Certified fresh. It's funny. It's cute, and it has a great message. You know about, you know. Now, it's not the location, it's not the look, it's the journey, not the destination. And um, it, it definitely deserves a lot of praise 
because, you know, I just love this movie. I think the first movie was decent. I saw that on VHS when I was a teen, and I thought, you know, it's cute. I hope they make a sequel, and the sequel just topped it. I love the scene with the reptar machine at the end of the movie, because reptar is a nod to Godzilla, and he's my favorite movie monster, so that was a nice nod, because in the first movie, he's just basically like a, a cart that they just ride in. He's like, voiced by Buster Rhymes, going, I am Reptar, and I'm the perfect children's toy. And I just love these characters. I grew up with these characters. They make me laugh. They make me smile. Love hearing that theme song. I grew up listening to that a lot in the 90s. And I didn't even have Nickelodeon at that time. I used to watch it either in my cousin's house or my aunt's house. And and I watched the cartoon. And I just love the cartoon. So these movies were definitely targeted for me. Um, they came out years after I was a kid. I mean, the first one came out in 98. I was like 13. And this one came out in 19, in the year 2000 when I was 15. But I just loved it. I, was, I saw this movie again a couple years ago, and I'm like, wow, this is a sequel that holds up. It's a sequel that's 16 years old, and it's better than a lot of animated sequels we get today. And it wasn't just bad CGI or a, st a story that didn't have a direction to go in. They go to Paris. There's a lot of shenanigans. I'm not going to ruin it for you that haven't seen it. I just wish that the movie was longer. This movie could have been an hour and 40 minutes, and I would have loved it anyway. Because, you know, it's just fun characters, fun musical numbers, a lot of heartwarming moments. When when um, Kimmy and Chucky become brother and sister, adopted brother and sister, it's great. It's very sweet. Also, when the, when the mother, when Kimmy's mother and, excuse me, Chaz, they become a couple, I buy it. It's very subtle. There's no sex jokes, wink, wink, wink. It's really, really family friendly, and it works as a great, you know, as a movie. This movie's G rated, meaning that it doesn't have anything that's gonna offend parents. It's got some toilet humor there. They're babies, so you know you can't blame them. And some of the dialogue is, of course, you know, baby talk. But it just these characters just mean so much to me. I love SpongeBob. But I saw this cartoon first, and, you know, it's a big part. It's in, at least in my top ten favorite Nickelodeon cartoons. This kicks the shit out of Adventure Time. It kicks the shit out of L Loud House or uh, Pig Go Banana, whatever the fuck that is. It kicks the shit out of any of these uh, new updates of, like, cartoons on Cartoon Network or Disney Channel. You got You can't beat the classics, especially from the 90s. There's a reason why the second movie was a huge hit when it came out. It made even more than the first film, I believe, and critics loved it. They said it's a very good family movie, and it's a sequel that raises the bar very high for Nickelodeon animated films. The last Nickelodeon animated movie that I really enjoyed that was theatrical, not on TV, was the SpongeBob Sponge Out of Water movie, which I thought was hilarious. I laughed my ass off in the theater, and if I had seen this in the theater, I would have went like, wow, Nick, you when you put heart and effort into a movie... You get a great movie like this. And I will say that. I'm going to keep saying it. It is a great kids movie. People have to give this movie a chance. You know, it's really, really well done. Animation is stunning. I think, who directed this? Um, it's two directors. It's not the same from the first one. The first one was a Russian guy named Igor Kovalov. Or Kovalyov. In this one, it's uh, Stig Berg, Berg, Bergovitz and Paul D Demi uh, Demeyer. Great to, uh, team effort by two directors, co-directors. They knocked it out of the park. They took elements of the first movie and raised it up a notch and put it in a new location in Paris, and it worked. It's a great location for the kids to get into shenanigans. Great visuals. They know what they were doing. They directed the piss out of every actor that did the voices of the cartoons because it's just it's great. I love the sequel. This is a sequel that I will consider one of the best animated sequels. That's not Disney. Pixar, DreamWorks, Blue Skies, or anything else that's from anime or anything like that. It's a Nickelodeon property that's endured. I love this movie. I think, I, you know, I wish it has some features on it. It has a, a documentary, which I need to see. Uh, it's got a Baja Men music video, sound effects showcase, and uh, that's it. I wish it had a commentary. I would have loved to hear from the directors on how they made this wonderful kids movie. It's very heartfelt. Give it a chance. I see I can watch movies that are just for kids as long as they're entertaining. Because for every 
for every Rugrats in Paris, there's always, there's there's always another like Astro Boy or Car or Cars Two. I thought was decent, or uh, like Rio Two, or you know these garbage movies that are just made for a paycheck. But this was not just made for a paycheck. It was a passion project, just like the Jetsons movie. It was successful, and I'm so glad it was. I played the video game. I had fun with that as well. And it's a good movie. It's a really good movie. I cannot recommend it any higher if I tried. Is it Oscar-worthy animated-wise? If there was a Best Animated Oscar in the year 2000, I would have said it was because it's just really heartfelt. Kubo and the, and the Two Strings, what it can't do is it cannot replicate a, a franchise that went from the 90s all the way to 2003. And then they had all grown up and then they stopped. But, you know, I really enjoy this movie. Rugrats in Paris for the win. It's one of the best sequels Nick has ever made. And I love every second of it. There's not a moment that I see that I'm like, oh, God, this is going to hurt. No. Susan Sarandon plays the villain. You cannot do better than that. She is a legend. Her daughter is beautiful. And she's with, she's had a very lengthy career for over 30 years. And bless that woman. She is just a great villain. Her French accent is spot on. And uh, I think she's really, really talented just such a great actress he, and her voice acting is spot on no flaws with it i i love her in the film i think she's a great villain and she works she doesn't feel forced in there and it had a better story than the first movie in my opinion but i enjoy rugrats in paris it's a great sequel it's what a sequel should be you don't kill off your characters you don't change the timeline you don't reboot the franchise you make it better you add to it that's what empire strikes back did that's what that movie did. That's what that movie did. That's what that movie did. You know, a sequel should always raise the bar higher. And when it does that, it works. Or at least make a good sequel. Because this is not Speed 2, where it makes the first movie pointless. No, it actually is better than the first movie. This movie. And I feel like it just, you know, it needs more attention because... For kids, they get so much garbage nowadays, it's good to go back in time and show them a really, really good animated movie, what hand-drawn animation is all about, baby. And that's my that's my rave on this movie, because I, I I love it. I just, I think about it, I'm like, wow. If this movie came out when I was a kid, I would have seen it on VHS like 50 times, because it just, it means so much to me, since these characters are so iconic and so, such great Nickelodeon characters. I miss that now. All we have left is Spongebob. And when he's gone, Nick will never be the same. I guarantee it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I know I have passion for this movie. When I love a movie, I'm not going to apologize for it, no matter what anybody says. This is a good sequel. It's a great movie for kids and for families, and you can watch it, and it will not offend them. Anyway, thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting on my videos. You guys are awesome. You've been watching my videos. Thanks for the... For the for the you know um, great feedback you know I'm glad that I have fans that appreciate my videos I'm doing this for you guys so chips away and I will see you later guys.